Hello, my name is Joanne Whetstone and I am the Democratic candidate for Alabama House District 90. District 90 is made up of five counties, two of them, Butler and Crenshaw, it's the entire counties. The other three are Montgomery, Coffee and Conecuh, and it's a portion of those counties. We are a rural, beautiful rural district. Uh, we also have some nice sized towns and some very, very, very close knit communities. I want to talk to you today about those things that I think are most important in the election that's upcoming, and that is the four pillars, the things that affect us as citizens every day, the things around which we make decisions. Those are our economy, education, health care, and infrastructure. When we talk about education, we're talking about the education of our entire population, not just our children in K-12 and our young adults that are in college, but we're talking about our adults who need to find another way to make a good living for them and their family. We need to think about an education lottery. That lottery would give us an opportunity to infuse our system with somewhere between 100 and 150 million dollars, which would make a substantial difference. We could also award to those students that were doing a really good job, we could give scholarships to them. The second pillar that I like to talk about is the economy. And of course, you can't get a great economy if you don't have a good education, if you don't have a population that is educated and able to do the job. So our economy is also dependent on that education. We need new business. We need business that is not part of our history, but part of our future. We've got to move into the 21st century. And until we do, and until our population is trained to do those jobs, we don't have as good a chance to be as successful as we want to be. When you talk about companies that would come and locate here in our state and would find a very well-educated uh, group of people that were able to do the job, they're going to look to see if we've got adequate health care for our citizens. That means that our rural hospitals get the kind of support that they need. It means that we have doctors in our communities that are dedicated to doing the work that's necessary. We also need to expand Medicaid. There are people out there that are suffering. We've got children that cannot get to the doctor. We've got parents that are spending every minute they can at a second job, maybe a third job, just to afford to be able to take their family to the doctor. But let's go back and let's think about what else that we need to do here in order to make everything work for our state. We need strong and progressive infrastructure. We're not the worst on the block as far as looking after our infrastructure, but we do have issues in areas where we need to expand, where we need to maintain. That infrastructure also includes our sanitation systems. We have a problem in the state of Alabama, and that problem is we have a very deteriorating sanitation system. So if we look back and we think about all the things we need to do, and we think about the economy, we think about education, we think about infrastructure, we think about health care. All of those things must work together as a unit in order to push all boats up, in order for everyone to be able to take advantage of that, both businesses and families. And I don't know any other way to say it. Alabama's got to make a change. We've got to step forward into the 21st century. And we've got to do those things that's going to matter to our families and our communities. I want to bring our concerns to Montgomery, and I want to be able to do that. As your representative for District 90, please vote for me in the November 6th election. I'm counting on you. I'll see you at the polls.